Hi there and welcome to Bustinet. Yes, this is the show I like to call Game Changer. It's a chance for me to get into your safe, try something, and hopefully it works. Um, I've got this very interesting safe coming from Denny Bosch. He's managing AZ Alkma and he's asked me to take a look at this site, all for that big match against Ajax. And it's going to be an interesting little safe because um, he has he has done quite well. And if when I see something like this, and okay. We've got Kelvin Stanks, 19 goals, very, uh, and you got Javi Galan, 15 assists, fantastic. We've got a phenomenal team. Unfortunately for me, as I go into this match, Javi Galan is injured, and I think Stenson is injured. He's got in, he's got ribs. Uh, he's injured his ribs. So we are we're not doing too well <laughs> in terms of the uh, our the players that we can put up for this big match against Ajax and Altmar is like a uh, top five side. And I've, um, so what do I do then? I actually, what I do is I do something that's akin to how I analyze systems, right, and tactics. So I look at your team. You've been using one tactic the whole season. Fantastic. So I go into your, I do the analysis for the formations, and I look at goals, right? Clear cut chance convert. This is why I call my big shot conversion range. Fifty-five or seven is a fantastic percentage. You don't give up a lot of chances. It's very good. It's the moment you see this is green and blue or whatever colors these are, that is not very good. So you have done a very good job of uh, scoring a lot of goals from these areas. Your assists are solid. Good spread. You got someone out on the left wing. You see, you got a very attacking right wing when you get twenty assists. Hint, hint. Okay. Uh, goal assists mostly corners and true balls. Fantastic little spread that you have here. The next thing that we do is we go and look out, and you know we've got this big match coming against Ajax, so we gotta we gotta really prepare for this game, right? So how do we prepare for this game? Now, when I want to prepare for a game, I'm actually looking at um I have to go in, look at the uh, team's uh, shots. What kind of shots uh, Ajax have against us? Five and four uh, inside the box shots saved. Let's see the shots. So these three are very interesting because they're probably down near the flanks. Uh, we'll watch this highlight. Attack comes in. You see your positioning of your place is quite wide. Makes one safe. This is dangerous. There's a big pocket of space out on the right flank. Then we got Marion Fellaini. This is a corner. Uh, doesn't tell us very much, right? So corner routines. Free header from Marion Fellaini. So something that we might have to address. Then we've got another highlight. They're coming down the, the flank. See the positioning. Morel. Oh, we, we've seen this one. This is the same one that we saw earlier. Uh, then we've got Marwan Fellini. Then we've got David Nares. This Watch this highlight. When the big to Fellini again. Space out wide. Comes in. So who's the defender here? The Haas. Okay. Alright, not too bad. I mean, the Haas is okay, but made a couple of mistakes. Uh, there's too much work on the left flank. The screen in front of your boys isn't doing a very good job. Um, so when they're attacking you, I noticed that they, they're coming down your left, which is natural because you're attacking. They swing to the right flank and there's still a lot of space there. So we want to give them fewer shots inside the box. So what do we do? The first thing I do is I go and look at your tactics, right? Corners. Alright, this is half decent, but what we can do is we can take this guy, put him here. We can take this guy, put him here. We've got better coverage in the area. Um, then uh, we go left, uh, same thing. I'll put this guy here. Here and this guy is jumping. What is this guy jumping? Seven, not really good. Okay, this guy's jumping. It's not bad. I'll put him here. Uh, so the other side, the other guys will be the DMCL. Okay, all right, we'll put him here. Uh, we've got enough coverage here now. When it comes to attacking, we're gonna change this routine slightly. I'll use a slightly different attacking corner routine. We'll put this guy here. We'll do mixed. Uh, we've got enough players attacking this. The box, uh, put this guy outside. Uh, a bit more defensive in orientation. Okay. We've got another corner routine here. Um, ML. Where's your ML? We'll send the ML forward. We'll tell this guy to come back. Uh, we can do... Oh, we can put this guy. I see him go forward. Slightly, slightly different variation. That's one. And then when it comes to free kicks, I'm only interested in indirect wide and Three, we want this guy here. Where's your DMCL with good jumping reach? Okay, both of them have good jumping reach. So we'll put one here. We'll put one here. We'll tell this guy to come out. We'll tell this guy to come out. Uh this guy can come in here. This is a this is a 
free kick from a wide area and then we can do left same principle uh this guy goes into the wall this guy comes in here uh this guy goes into the wall we can send this guy to the far post okay we've got enough players here and then we do the same thing with wide we do the same thing with deep deep we want this guy here and this guy here this should be enough yeah you can put one guy here here that's not too bad i also have my own routine uh in the right deep and then i go left right direct deep this idea should be the same yeah so we've got these guys marking and then we've got indirect wide we set it up now when you want to attack the indirect wide ones we want a wide attack a wide right control slightly different variations right left then we got deep deep i got the far post and the near post all right all done so we've we set our free kicks up um and now we're going to look at our tactic so we've we noticed that you're leaving some gaps behind and i think your original tactic was something like this i have given it some thoughts this was your original tactic you got a wing inverted wing on attack and a wing back on attack so this is how you are playing this tactic so what i've done is i've already changed things just wing back on support now and I've asked the ass man for his recommendations because we got some players who are injured. So we, we, oh, the games have just ended. Uh, so he's come up with a uh, Wydra, good Monson. I'm not going to use him. Monos, the Haas, Laurie, and Degui. Okay, not too bad. Kusage and Friday. Again, uh, what we're going to do here is I'll tell him to sit narrower, dribble less, do less often. Okay, that sorted this guy out. We're going to overlap left. And your tactic had overlap left only. I added overlap right to this tactic. And then we're going to play with uh, stay on feet. And this is the setup that we're going to use. Now, the other thing that I noticed in your training was something that you should think about. Because your training followed the ass man. So your ass man gave four slots free. What I did different was I added delivery, attacking freaks, defending corners. So you, you, your workload is still going to be medium, light to medium. Right, but here you have to be careful as well. If you leave it to your ass, man, you, what you want to do is you want to take control of your training until every player is on medium. So some of your players will have, you need to take control of their training to make sure that you, know, you, you get the best out of it. So this is something that I did. And these are the changes that I'll be making to your tactic for the match against uh, the... IX. There's very little else to do for your tactic in terms of uh, things, different things. Your training, give you know, use out a bit more extra days. Use set piece deliveries, uh, train your other stuff because your match cohesion is a bit low, right? So, from your training as well, go to your calendar, add in team bonding, and do a bit more of these uh, the dark blue training sessions, right? You know, you got attacking here. Maybe for this day, what we can do for general is uh, tactical. Yeah, so this is this. And then here we can do team bonding again. So stuff like this is going to improve your cohesion. Right? So you want to improve your cohesion so that your your team gets better over time with uh with the tactics uh and they work better as a team. So here we've got attacking free kicks. And then on this day we can do attacking corners. So you you're setting yourself up nicely. And what you'll see in your weekly report is that you've like this weekly report will tell you teamwork, will tell you uh set pieces delivery attacking free kings and defending corners be ready for this so uh these are things that i would do with the, your safe to make it slightly different all right so now it's time for me to go into this match give it a whirl and see how it turns out all right so we played the game against ix and we blew ix out of the water i mean should have been a bigger scoreline but 3-1 still will take it we played on attacking mentality. Uh, we had very good possession in and around the uh, box. Our first goal came from Vasil Kusec three minutes into the game. In fact, it was a blistering start. We scored two goals within the first 20, uh, 20 minutes. First one from a corner, we went, we'll drill this, and then uh, Kusec comes in and drives it on. Remember, we played a short corner routine, right? So 
I mean, we'll be, when we'll be doing set-piece delivery, attacking corners, training the whole bloody week, uh, not the whole bloody week, at least we had a session there. Our second goal, uh, Thomas Uwen, they had they tried to attack us. He failed, Kusage comes away, leads the counter, gives it to Friday, the Gui goes up, crosses it to the far post, the guy drills it, takes a deflection, ends up in the back of the net. Happy second goal. Then our third goal, Munoz, Okay, Janet brings the ball up, plays it out to Till, who got who gets injured later. This guy is not a bad option for the right flank in, in, in case you have injuries, right? Because he's got good passing vision and decisions, he makes this pass. Do Friday, Friday took these chances and buried that. Uh, Goose still got injured in the end. While Clough Janet did score a goal in the 71st minute, they had their corner routine. Very fortunate. Uh, we we did our best, but you know we didn't clear the, the danger the first time around. So they came back and scored the goal. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, we had uh, we had two clear cut chances against their one. We played really well. I mean, two clear cut chances out of eight on target, which is not a bad conversion rate actually. So three one the final score. So these are the players that I use. The in terms of the tactic itself, tactic. It's not very much to do with your system. Just you had a wing back on attack, uh, and you play with the overlap left. So what I did was I overlap left, overlap right to give influence the mentality of these both these players. So they become more like midfielders. The only downside is these two players are sometimes are going to be very close together, right? But that's just only for that uh, mid, uh, transition for a short while. Then after that they go back attacking. But this means that you typically will have a lot of passing options for Kumaya. So you're going to keep the ball on the left flank. And here we've got De Gui, the wing back on support. Uh, you you want to use him as much as you can. I did bring on Simon Asta in the game because I thought I want to try for long throws. But he's weak positionally, right? His anticipation is not good. De Gui's anticipation is fantastic. He knows how to read the game. So he can always... Uh, he's, he's ideally suited for the wing back's position. Uh, and uh, you want to... You want to... Don't need to do any PIs. This guy, I did PIs for him. Sit narrow, shoot less off and dribble less because I want him to be closer to the volante. Uh, then, OVN, no PIs. No PIs here, no PIs here. So, there were no PIs being used for this whole tactic on anybody except for this chap here. The other thing was that during the game itself against that... Uh, against Ajax, I did choose to use opposition. I OI their entire backline so that their backline, every time they get the ball... We get this bunch of maniacs trying to close them down. It was fun to watch because their keeper was always under pressure. He kept clearing the ball because we kept hounding him. And that unsettled the entire Ajax game plan. So Ajax never got into their rhythm as we played a very aggressive game. We played on a standard line of engagement, much higher defensive line. We use prevention of distribution. We stay on feet because if you're going to be playing with a much higher defensive line, don't go there and tell your players to tackle. Just tell them to stay on feet because most of the time, they're going to be looking, the players going that way. And you know what happens when you tackle from behind, right? So, we, want, we didn't want them to get stuck in and I didn't want them to make a decision on whether or not to go and you know, dive into a tackle. So, stay on feet was the preferred, preferred solution. And I was worried because uh, in this match, uh, I was worried about this guy. Because he dives into tackles. But guess what? He was one of the best performers in the game. And I was very impl impressed with how he played uh, during this match. Ajax, your screen in midfield was superb. Your central defenders played well. Uh, we took off, uh, we brought out Asta for De Gui, but De Gui was so good. And then your, we took your fullback, <laughs> turned him into a winger because your regular winger is, uh, is injured. And he had a blinder. Uh, Fred Friday, perfect pressing forward, would always drop deep, you know, right? He would always drop deep, pull players away, creating the space for other players to attack and something that I was very, very impressed with, the, the way the pressing forward and the advance forward were playing this game. So, you have the players, you've done a very good job on uh, finding these players. I didn't want to change the tactic too much. It doesn't need to be changed. You just need to tweak it slightly. Win the title. Enhance your side next season and win the title again, and win the Champions League. So I want to thank you very much for sending in this thoroughly enjoyable save. I'm not going to do too many. Of, I'm not going to do too many matches, right? Normally I do two or three, but I don't want to, because if I do it, then I'll win the title. I will leave that to you.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of Game Changer. If you have any questions, please look me up on Twitter at Bustanet or addicted2fm.com, my website. Once again, I want to thank all my patrons for their continued support of this channel. We make these kind of shows possible for the rest of the community. You guys take care. Have a good one. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.